mind well. I can't really see the periods. A great memory. Oh, I think those are commas, actually. He has a great memory and very good intuition. Yeah, that, sound, that sounds like me. <laughs> very quick to tire, slow to heal, good memory, and uh, intuition. Yeah, I do have a very bad sense of empathy. I'm actually very selfish. Um, yeah, I think, I think this one I'm going to name after myself. Which is Austin. If I haven't mentioned that this is going to be one of Austin's Let's Plays. Self-conscious? Actually, not really. I can handle stress pretty well. Rarely happy. I uh, wouldn't say that. He has a fertile imagination, yes. Put off by authority and tradition. Actually, I was going to be the leader of the group. But I do don't, I don't really care for tradition. Uh, he is candid and severe in dealing with others. Doesn't go out of his way to do more work than necessary. Yes, that's me. Patiently given the procrastination. Yes. He exhales sharply, becomes exasperated. He needs alcohol to get through the working day. I think all of our dwarves do need alcohol to get through the working day. Likes working outdoors. Uh, not true, actually. And Grumble's only mildly. I. I don't really care for, about the weather. Yeah, alright, this is gonna be Austin. Nickname Austin. And, whoops. Enter. And profession name? I oh, forgot to name Michael's profession. Um, Austin, the, um, the leader. Slash doctor, I think. We'll make him the doctor. Enter. Okay, so, Austin and my, um, dwarven name is a do wait, uh, is this, wait, is this a female? Alright, no. That would be bad. View. Uh, yeah. Oh, someone that customize this profession name. Outdoorsman. Yeah, I think we'll just do outdoorsman. Not gonna put the archer there. Eton Arithador. Oh, I need to pick my skills too. Okay, let's put teacher, leader, observer, concentration. Okay. Actually, no, not teacher. I don't really have anything to teach my uh, my group. Whoops, I'm going to yeah, subtract those points. Um. Appraiser, yeah, I need that when we're dealing with other traders. Judge of intent, no, uh, no. Just pick some doctor skills. As you know from my uh, Fallout Let's Play, I love doctor skills. At least in Fallout I do. Not Fallout 3. It's called like medicine or something like that in Fallout 3. It's really useless. Just it just affects like your usefulness with impacts. Uh, okay. Looks pretty good. I think I'll be a better, um, surgeon. You can't be just a novice surgeon, because if you mess up during surgery, then, you know, your person you're operating on is screwed. Okay. Eton. The only thing, uh, that doesn't really match me is mm, the, ob the obesity thing. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, uh, he's only 74. It's kind of young compared to the other dwarves. He has very long sideburns that are braided. <laughs> okay. Very long mustache. All of us have mustaches so far. Hopefully we'll actually get a female in our group. I guess we'll have migrants soon enough though. His lips are very thick, his nose. But just convex. He is slightly protruding raw umber eyes that are round. His skin is dark brown. Okay. He is fat. This is right there. He's fat. <laughs> um okay, so I guess um Plump Dwarves. Maybe we can, uh, rename it to the Plump Ticks of Apples. He is weak and quick to tire. Slow to heal. Quite susceptible to disease and very clumsy. Um, uh, well, probably won't have him working outside then. Maybe he'll be a miner. I don't know, if he's, if he quick to tire, then maybe not. He likes silver, native silver. He likes gold barrel. He likes the color cardinal. People like these... Some of these people like weird colors. He likes war hammers, doors, scepters, and large roaches for their ability to disgust. 
and possibly prefers to consume dwarven sugar. Uh huh. An amazing memory, a natural inclination towards language, and a good kinesthetic sense. But he has a shortage of patience and meager creativity. Actually, he might have been a good doctor. But if he was clumsy, then maybe not. He occasionally overindulges. He is somewhat reserved. He is very active. He is mostly unaware of his own emotions and rarely expresses them. He does not go out of his way to help others. He is confident. He is organized. He is self-disciplined. He tenses up when he's nervous. He needs alcohol to get through the working day. He likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly. Don't really know who I'm gonna base this uh, character off of. Now, based on his description, though, okay, so he has amazing memory, and he's not really a worker. Hmm. Probably make him the butcher and chef. Don't really need clumsiness. Isn't really uh, punished that much in cooking. Like, dwarves will delete whatever, if they're in a fortress, yeah. If you mess up the food, it'll be fine. And slow to tire and heal, that won't- if he's inside cooking all the time, then... Not a problem. Okay. And he'll also be the brewer. Or maybe he'll be the farmer. No. If he's susceptible to disease, I don't want him farming. He'll contract some diseases when he's farming. Can't really contract many diseases when cooking, though. Uh, someone to name it after. Let's name him. Nickname Kale. Yes, <laughs> Kale the chef. And his uh, profession name is Chef. And let's go ahead and put him to butcher. One to butcher. Um, one to brewer. Two to cook. And fish cleaner, animal dissector. Do that. And fish cleaner too, I guess. He'll do all the dirty work. I think that's all he needs, really. To be a chef. Cheesemaker? Sure. And milker? Maybe not. Oh yeah, okay. Milker. Animal trainer. Animal caretaker. Well, if he's susceptible to disease, then I guess he shouldn't be working with animals. Okay, yeah, maybe the farmer will do all this stuff. And another thing, uh, let's um, level up his brewing, because it's good to increase the quality of the, the alcohol. It's really important in dwarven lifestyle. Alcohol is. Now let's view this guy. Alright, another male. Hopefully we'll get at least one female in the group. Greased hair is incredibly straight. Um, very long sideburns. They all have sideburns. He has a long mustache too. Okay. Okay, his mustache is it arranged in double braids? <laughs> okay, some funny looking dwarves. He's uh, one of the younger dwarves in our group too. Not as uh, not as young as Kale though. Kale's our youngest dwarf, and he's our chef. Okay, uh, he's thin, his aquamine eyes, his hair is buff. <laughs> I didn't know hair could be buff. His skin is copper. Very agile and strong. I think this is going to be our warrior. Uh, he likes garnerite, horn silver, pyrite, pigtail fiber fabric. Who doesn't like pigtail fiber? And he likes suns. Does that mean that our world has more than one sun? I'm not sure. Okay, he likes maces and greats. Okay, he likes maces. So I guess he might as well be our warrior. He has an iron will, a great feel for social relationships. Maybe he'll be like our warlord. He'll be um, leading in battle. A great deal of patience. A very good focus. Poor empathy. It's okay. 
rarely feels discouraged, occasionally overindulges, very rarely does more work than necessary, chooses nails when he is thinking he needs alcohol to get through the working day, okay? Like all my other dwarves. He likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly in inclement weather. Short, sturdy creature fond of drink and industry. Hmm. Uh, either make him a warrior or a miner. If you like, he likes working outdoors, but that's. Don't really care what he likes. <laughs> I think we'll make him our miner. Although I want him to be happy. Hmm. Well, we're gonna we're dwarves. We don't really care for the outdoors. He's gonna be a black sheep, I guess. He, well, not the outdoorsman. Obviously, likes outdoors, but dwarves in general like to be in caves and underground. I think I'll make him our miner, cause, just because he's so strong. Oh, and uh, customize. Whoops. Uh, he'll be Billy. Billy isn't really a toasty gamer, at least not yet. He should be in some of our like short videos, and he might help out a little bit. Uh, profession name: miner. And okay, a miner. We put all of his points into mining, and then he has more. He'll be good with stone. So Mason. Let's make him the building designer too. Engraver. Sure. And stone crafter. And no, he won't be the mechanic. Actually, yeah. Let's make him like mechanic. Don't need stone crafting. He'll be the mechanic and the uh, furnace operator. So he'll pretty much do all the mining, the collecting of the stone, and then he'll be like the handyman. Oh, whoops. Is this the guy? Oh, this is Billy. Oops. Okay, so this guy is Billy. And, actually, should we name him William? Yeah. Well, it's his nickname, so his nickname would be Billy, but... No, yeah, same Billy. <laughs> it's his nickname. Alright, P. Uh, profession name. Miner. Maybe. Handyman. <laughs> Handyman is two words, I think. Or maybe it's hyphenated. I don't know. Okay, so he's still gonna put, um, put mining. Not as much, though. And then masonry. Here, one more. He's a competent miner. Engraving. Building. Weaponsmith. Boyer. That's making bows, I think. Actually, no. We don't need a boyer. Armorsmith. Metalsmith. Furnace operator. Oh, we need more points. Okay. We're gonna have to sell some of our items then. Sell one of our picks. Sell one of our axes. Keep our anvil. Keep all this wine. Uh, keep these seeds. Uh, Drunian kidney. A turtle. I think that's for food. Yeah, we don't need thread. Sell all that. Cloth, don't need it. Bags. Yes, we need bags. Rope. I uh, don't really know what we use ropes for. We'll sell them. <laughs> How many of these do we have? I guess only one. A quiver. Yeah, that we use that for the outdoorsman. We'll use that. Who's the outdoorsman again? Michael. Okay. Michael will use the, the quiver. Buckets. Yeah, keep the buckets. Splints. Well, we can make these really easily with them um, out of wood. Um. Yeah. I think that's good for now. And yeah, gem cutter. He'll be our gem cutter. And I guess we can take one off of my frame rate's dropping for some reason. It's odd. <laughs> 